sword and the nunchuck controller as a shield. With the increased processing power of the Nintendo Switch system, the controls here are smoother and even more intuitive. And we've recreated the controls for the sword and the shield here by having the player hold two Joy-Con controllers. The Joy-Con controller in your right hand is the sword. Swing it to have Link swing his sword in the game. The Joy-Con controller in your left hand is the shield. By lifting the controller, you can raise the shield to block enemy attacks. You can perform other actions like using both controllers to wield a bow and arrow. These physical movements add a sense of urgency and tension to combat. But we've also made it possible to play the game with button controls to ensure it can be played in handheld mode or on the Nintendo Switch Lite system. After mulling over how to assign different gameplay elements to different buttons, we decided to apply the sword motions to tilting the right control stick. Tilt the stick down when you want to swing the sword downward. To swing to the right, to the left, or diagonally, just tilt the stick in the respective direction. Here's something else we've been working on. Specially designed Joy-Con controllers. The right Joy-Con controller is themed after the Master Sword, while the left features a Hylian Shield motif. The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword, as the game depicting the earliest story in the Legend of Zelda timeline, details the events around the creation of the Master Sword itself. We hope that people who played the original game on Wii, and those playing it for the first time, will enjoy discovering the origins of The Legend of Zelda. The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword HD launches July 16th. Following this Nintendo Direct, you'll be able to pre-order the game on Nintendo eShop, and the specially designed Joy-Con controllers will launch on the game's release date at your local retailers. Many of you may already know this, but The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword was the last original console game prior to The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild game, and it was still following the established conventions of The Legend of Zelda. However, it gave a glimpse into many features and innovations that would eventually be adopted in The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, using the sailcloth to descend in midair, a stamina gauge that depleted as you scaled walls with vines or ran, even the concept of collecting items to upgrade gear, I hope those of you who've played The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild will give this game a try as well. Please look forward to The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword HD.